always get your parents' permission before doing anything in the kitchen. There are many hazards that can hurt you, so be sure to follow all of your parents' directions. Today on the Happy Kids Cooking Show, we're going to make macaroni and cheese. Here's what you'll need. One cup of raw cashews, one tablespoon of onion powder, half of a red bell pepper, fresh or roasted, two tablespoons to a quarter cup of tomatoes with chilies, optional, half a cup of yeast flakes, one teaspoon of salt, three cups of water, two to three cups of raw macaroni noodles, about six to eight cups cooked. Welcome to the Happy Kids Cooking Show. I'm, today we're making macaroni and cheese. I have my pot of water here boiling already, so let's put the macaroni in. I'm gonna take the lid off with this high-tech glove here. Now you might wanna be careful and ask your mom and dad for help for this, because that water is boiling and it is at about 100 degrees Celsius, which is hot. Put that in. For the cheese, we need we need a blender here. Again, ask your mom for help. You're gonna want about three cups of the macaroni here. We're gonna take about one. We're gonna take one cup of raw cashews here. These are raw, so we'll put these in here. And then we'll want about half half a cup. Where's the half a cup measuring cup? Here it is. Half a cup of these yeast flakes. Now, you can use any type of macaroni that you want. So I'm going to use half. A, I'm gluten free or regular. Doesn't matter. That's just under a half. Let's get a good half there. We are yeast flakes here, and then. We're gonna want a, about, we're gonna want a half of a roasted red pepper. And this is approximately one half. Put that in. And we're also gonna want some, one tablespoon of onion powder here. Put that in. And half a tea, one teaspoon, I mean one tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of this salt here. Put that on it. Now, one thing that we do not have is um, here, and it is optional, is two tablespoons to a quarter cup of tomatoes with chilies. Okay, you don't have to do that if you don't want. Okay, we have two cups of liquid here, water here. I'm gonna pour that in quickly. And we actually want three cups of water here. So I'm gonna add another cup of water here. And we'll check here. It looks about good to me. And uh, we'll put that in here as well. We have all of our ingredients that need to go in the blender in. Now, this is the part where it's really loud. I'm gonna put the cap on. If you don't have the cap on, you're gonna make a big mess. So, we're gonna actually hit the liquefy on this one button. And it is loud! It's quite loud here. So we're, we want to make it so that way it's very smooth. So it's going to take a little while. Okay, I think that should be about good. I'm going to pick this on off of here. Then we can unplug it. We'll move this out of our way for now. And we'll keep this over here. 
Now, let's go check our macaroni here. I got a spoon here. We're just gonna mix it up a little bit. Clumped up a little bit, but I mean, we can start out. Now, I'm gonna actually see if I can fish out a noodle. This part's the hard part. Whoa, only one, one noodle. I'm gonna test it. Okay, so we're just gonna put this over here. This is quite hot. It's still a little bit hard. So you want it so that way when you chew it, it's soft, but not so soft that it's like mushy. So I think a couple more minutes and it'll be good. Well, our macaroni is at the right texture, so we're just gonna stir this up a little bit. We're gonna turn off the stove, and you might want your parents' help for the cooking part here. And then you're gonna, what you wanna do is you act, this is quite hot actually, in the handles. We're gonna move that off the stove. We're gonna need to get our strainer here. We're gonna put it over in here, and we're gonna, Use, and we're gonna actually get a hot pad or two. A couple things for grabbing onto it as well. We're gonna put that there. And then we're just gonna grab it, because it's really hot. That's why the handles come, these nice rubber things come in handy. And walk it over here. I'm gonna actually move it move this out of our way. I'm gonna actually grab it upside down. I'm gonna, it might be kind of hard to do it that way for some people, so what you wanna do is you actually wanna tip it the way the water runs into the strainer. That way you can dump your noodles into the strainer, which is now really hot. Now you can grab it like this, because it's lighter. Tip it over. Got our noodles out. I'm just gonna keep that there. Now we need to take this and we're gonna wanna kinda shake it a little bit. And so that way we got some the water drained out a little. That should be good. Then we're just gonna take it back in and we're just gonna pour it back in. In there. Now this thing's still a little warm, but it's not as bad. Put this back here. So our cheese is done. Let's put this on our hot pad here. Now I'm gonna pop this lid off here. This is our cheese here. I'm gonna pour the cheese right on into here on the macaroni. And I like putting most of it on. There we go. That's good. Now we're gonna take our spoon again and mix it in. Now if it's a little runny, you can put it back on the stove to help with it. So this is a little runny, and you might have the same problem at home. So what you do when it's runny is you actually just put this back on the hot stove here. And then you just, and this is still a hot stove, but I think I'll turn it on a little bit. So that way we actually are get, getting it cooked in a little bit. There. And it's almost finished. Now, one thing nice about this is you aren't using real cheese and it tastes like super good. Um, you can still taste the cashewness it's really, really, it's not, it's creamy and it, it's really nice. I like it a lot. Now we're using quinoa, using quinoa um, noodles here and they taste really good. Even if you're not a big fan of quinoa like I am, these noodles do not t taste at all like quinoa. So they're really good. We might need to turn it up a little higher. 
keep on mixing here. This is the danger part because it could just burn on you, so you gotta want keep an eye on it. You don't have to stir it constantly, which is kind of nice. We'll let this thicken up here and we'll let it cook in. Well, this is done. I'm gonna turn it off right now. And we're just gonna move this onto our hot plate here. Here I got a plate I'm gonna grab. Plate here. The old plate will work for you if you want. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. This looks yummy. I'm gonna put some on a plate here. Could have been done a little bit longer, but there you go. Well, not only do we need this, but we also need a veggie. So I'll show you how to make a yummy one. Now we'll be making Caesar salad. Here's what you'll need. For the dressing, half a cup of veggies or mayo, three tablespoons of lemon juice, fresh is best, four tablespoons of zesty sprinkles or parmesan substitute, half a teaspoon of Italian herbs, two to four cloves of garlic minced. For the salad, you will need one head of romaine lettuce and two cups of croutons. The recipe is available on our website, www.happykidscooking.com. Now that we have done our macaroni and cheese, it's time to do the salad. Now for the salad, we're doing Caesar salad. Now, it doesn't have all the stuff that we don't want. Now, we are gonna want half a cup of veginase or mayo. We're eating veginase here. I'm gonna scoop that in with my spatula. There we go. Now I'm gonna put in these cloves of garlic. I have three cloves here. Now, in order to do this, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna take the knife and cut the ends off. Like so. On all three of these, but I'm gonna do them one at a time. Here is our garlic press. I'm gonna open it up. Take your garlic and put it in here, like so. And then you can, whew. Man, the smell is making me really hungry. Push, and then you just push this down on this one. Here. And then it squeezes it way through. It's really tough too. Man, I think that's about as far as we're gonna go. So I'm just gonna take the knife and cut it off. Pop that off there. So you can put in as much garlic or as little garlic as you want. I'm only gonna do one today here. We also have three tablespoons of lemon juice. And then we have our Italian herbs here. And then we got our zesty sprinkles. This is uh, a Parmesan substitute here that I'm using. And we'll mix this on up. I'll move this up to the side for now. I'm gonna go get a salad bowl. Put some of the salad here in. <laughs> some salad's tougher than others too. It's still kind of big. Now you can like break it up like I'm doing or you can cut it. 
either or. I think that should be good for now. Now we'll take this all mixed up here. I'm just gonna pour it on in. And we'll mix this together. Oh, yes. The, we need some croutons here. Put those on in. Well. I wanna make sure you get it mixed in pretty well. Because someone might have a big chunk of like garlic or something like that. Wah! Making a mess here. So I'm gonna use my tongs here. What? <laughs> oh well. Boing! Those will work great. Then you pick it up and actually move it around a little bit more. And here I have a nice platter. We're going to put some of this on. It's kind of, it looks kind of like a lettuce leaf too. I'm just going to take our tongs, make sure we get a bunch of good stuff, and then just put it on the plate. And there you go. Well, we finished our macaroni and cheese here and our salad here. We have some simulated bacon bits on here. Um, and they add some flavor. Some, now here's something that I forgot to mention with the Caesar salad was some garlic is much spicier than other garlic. So, and, and the stronger the smell is, the probably the stronger it is. The taste is too. Man, this looks good. Let's have a bite. Mm. Mm. That is good. Well, thank you for watching. Happy Kids Cooking.